All right, thank you for joining us with Solstice's 10 Good Minutes. Um, my name is Julian. I'm Brian. Peace. How's your mind, Chief? We're all developers here at Solstice. Uh, we're here today to talk about Famous, a new JavaScript library that's just come out, um, getting a lot of hype, really popular. Um, so Brian, can you give us a quick intro as to what Famous is exactly? Sure. Uh, so Famous was developed to be an enhancement rather than a replacement for uh, for mobile web applications. Um, they, they really focus on a mobile first uh, platform and okay. they expose APIs that help take advantage of uh, software um, to help make apps okay. run really smoothly. So then how's it different from other uh, mobile first frameworks like JQM, jQuery Mobile or? So Famous has, uh, is one of the first to support its own uh, 3D uh, physics and layout engine. Um, which is really its bread and butter. Um, it allows it to get up to 60 frames per second on, on mobile devices, and um, that's really a game changer for mobile. Yeah, so what, as a developer, what do you like about Famous? Why, why is it interesting? The major advantage is to everything is, is cost compatibility, and, uh, and it also is kind of a disadvantage. We have to make sure that if it is working perfectly fine in toward all the devices. So, so Famous is kind of... Uh, is pull this thing like uh, really good. Uh, those their UIs are really really, uh, really good. Uh, mm -hmm. They give me the native UI feel. Um, and that's a, like a major thing, and also it's going to be like very easy for the developers to to, to create in any custom layouts like header footer layout or yeah. any kind of layout. So yeah. everything is kind of included in the famous library. So cool. all the developers need to do is just call those functions, and then just uh, everything. Uh, even you don't have to manual with the DOM too. Uh, everything uh, will be. Uh, like you don't have to create create a separate HTML file for each your requirement. Uh, famous will take care of it for you to, to append the and, HTML. And that's fundamentally different services. than most JavaScript libraries, right? Like yeah. A lot of JavaScript libraries, you still have to ping the DOM or yes. somehow manipulate yes. the DOM to get your application working yes. correctly. Yeah. But Famous, you know, they they're promoting not touching the DOM at all. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Cool. So, Brian, what do you like about Famous? Uh, well, I think Famous. Uh, gives mobile web developers like a whole no a whole new reason to start looking at mobile web as a serious uh, competitor to native, and I think that's something that the famous developers have been focusing on through the mobile first uh, approach. Sure. So what? But why now? Like, what's what's different about famous? So, like I was saying before, uh, they've focused a lot on mobile first. And they have they've been able to generate their own three D physics engine okay. and layout uh, rendering. So, like you were saying, there's no DOM manipulations. It's all being rendered uh, for each for browser. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, personally, what I really like about Famous is how expressive it is. Uh, it's very high level. Uh, you're able to achieve kind of like the UI you want with uh, surprisingly little code. Um, and also, it's, it's very you know high level. Like I said, it's it makes a lot of sense when you read the famous codes. Yeah. Um, so I know that there's like been a couple, a couple apps released into the stores already. Um, so I know, Brian, you told me about some Twitter client right. that was made. Yeah, actually, uh, one of the one of the really cool integrations uh, that Famous has done, um, they teamed up with a company called Firebase. Firebase. So and what did they do exactly? So Firebase is uh, the way that they described it is they are doing to the data layer kind of what Famous has done to the view okay. layer. Neat. Neat. Um, so they're kind of optimizing that. And one of the integrations that they did uh, was they created a Twitter clone, the mm -hmm. entire Twitter application in less than 500 lines of JavaScript. And I thought that was pretty amazing. So I know that like the uh, Famous coming out has kind of sparked this debate of native versus hybrid. Um, so, and I know that the proponents of Famous are kind of claiming that it'll be a native killer. Um, that in the future there'll really only be demand for mobile web and kind of like Cordova type apps. Uh, what do you guys have to say on that point? So one, one key thing that, uh, that has come up a lot um, is like performance and like battery life. Battery life on yeah. phones, right. So uh, just last year at WWDC, mm -hmm. um, Apple brought, Apple started talking about Famous and they brought it up trying to prove that why web will never be as good as native, native code. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, it's mainly an argument of CPU correct, usage, right? Correct. Yeah. yeah. And so at the time, uh, CPU usage was, you know, sky high and, and they were showing numbers. 
And since that time, um, they've brought the CPU's active cycles all the, all the way down to 7% and their passive cycles down to 1%. And, is, and previously the active cycles were like 20. In, about 30, like 36% when active. Okay. Yeah. So. yeah. Harsha, is it yeah. going to kill the native coding then? Um, I would say a famous list be a right option for the mm -hmm. people who want to choose hybrid mobile development. Okay. Obviously, the people who want to, uh, like clients or any other person who choose hybrid development because uh, the major advantage is the cross compatibility throughout all the devices, right. Right. and also they can be built really faster. Uh, uh -huh. There's a major advantage. So I would say uh, famous definitely going to be like a good option for uh, who want to develop their projects in a yeah. cost based manner, but uh, but the apps which built on the uh, which built on the native functionality like iOS and Android apps, they would yeah. say that uh, they they'll be like still be in the top position. But famous yeah. will still be lagging, yeah. I would say, because uh, uh, they won't be having any performance issues or uh, definitely uh, like uh, accessing like a Bluetooth or something. Right. Like, right. like, like yeah. accessing like the, the hardware, sensors, hardware, yeah. 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 hardware so access. So right. That is exactly. where these hybrid applications going to lag. Right, yeah. and I would agree with that. I think famous is made a huge step and yes. kind of bolstered the uh, argument for why you would go hybrid, but I think it's still lacking a lot of the features native has. Yeah. Uh, the biggest one is the navigation patterns. Yeah. Um, for example, Android has the up button and the back button. Um, iOS only has one button, and users of these platforms get very familiar with these navigation yes. patterns in yeah. all of their apps. And you know, having a generic cross-platform app, you're kind of ignoring these uh, very basic uh, platform specific things that users are familiar with uh, and then there's also the sensor problem you know the yeah. Bluetooth sensors uh, yeah. you know GPS and I, I do expect things like that to improve in mobile browsers um, but I, I still think it's really lagging behind native in, in those areas at least but yeah. de but they definitely overcome these uh the issues we have previously with hybrid applications like UI issues uh, especially the Android related issues yeah. uh, uh, when you're building any, any hybrid app, they're, they're looking really good in iOS, but they come back to Android. And it's really interesting to like hear the famous team's perspective right, on right, what's going on yeah. too. Because um, to them, they see it as a native killer in a way, right, um, right. citing kind of that JavaScript and the browser are like the main fallbacks of Mobile. why they can't why they right, can't right. reach native speeds. Sure. Um, and the big one with JavaScript is JavaScript, single thread, yep. right? Yeah. yeah, it's not a multi-threaded language. And uh, the browser, they cite uh, garbage collection being a huge, yeah. huge it's issue, garbage which collection they is say huge. is also getting yeah. a lot better. So given what we've stated here today, do you think it's ready for enterprise? Um, is it ready for some of our client projects? Some of the work that they're doing uh, going forward, so they've, they've, I said in the beginning that it's not a replacement that is more of an enhancement. And so they've been bringing in stuff like um, uh, Meteor and some other frameworks like Angular. Angular, right? Yeah. Angular, their Angular integration, I think that's going to be huge. It's already brought a lot of value. Yeah. And no, we, we it, use Angular quite a bit here at yeah, Solstice. Yeah, yeah right? we do. Yeah. Even though their Angular integration is in the alpha stages right. at this current moment, it's, our, it's already brought a lot of value, allowing developers to you know be be in their uh, some in an environment that they're comfortable with. Uh -huh. Using directives, you know that they're they're used to using, um, you know, ng repeat stuff like sure. that, um, and it, it basically still gaining the performance enhancement. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So and it allows them to work in the same. It allows them to abstract away that view layer and still have their whole models and their controllers sure. in sure. that context. Yeah. So in the enterprise enterprise point of view, I would say that Fabus has definitely has the capability. Uh, so we can build start building enterprise mobile mm -hmm. applications. I would say I would stress on more on like a cost effective enterprise mobile mobile solutions than sure. the like a mobile solutions. Uh, uh, and moreover, um, compared to the the UI, especially of what hybrid applications lack is the transition, like a native transition. So if you if you and if you open any like any iOS app, you you can definitely say if it is a kind of, but it's kind of not. Completely, you can say, visit hybrid or native, but at one point of time, if you, uh, like, you there's, definitely there's identify yeah. this is hybrid app. Sure. Uh, so, but I, I would say they're famous, their UI is like, is like, is like crystal clear, I would, I would say that, and, and also um, the transitions are very, very good. Um, mm -hmm. And they feature like a custom, uh, like a CSS uh, transitions on the, on the animations, the physics based. So. Mm -hmm. Um, it's going to be like really huge for enterprise. Yeah, I mean, I think it's promising. I'm really not convinced that it's ready for enterprise yet. Um, yeah, it's still there, new. There are some yeah. like support issues. Uh, 
I mean, there's, no, there's known issues in a lot of the browsers. Um, yeah. And also, every client's different. We always have to cater to what our client's strengths are. Right. Um, but I definitely think it's really promising. And if I was a startup, I'd be all over famous yeah. because of what we've stated already. It's very high level and expressive, very quick to achieve what you want. Uh, so for a startup, I think that's a great, yes. great right. idea. But as an enterprise, we have to support you know, many, many platforms as well as future-proof yeah. it as best you can. I, you know, I, I, I think you'd have to consider it a little bit closer than, uh, than that. So. Yeah, especially in Android, we have so many versions out there and the kind of people distributed through all the kind of operating systems. So, uh, and they're not supporting Microsoft or like any kind of Right, right. 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 But that's, that's mainly because Microsoft hasn't developed yeah. uh, dependent technologies like the Preserve 3D yeah. and uh, other CSS uh, properties that they're just not there in the Microsoft yeah. um, systems yet. So I know I know for a lot of our big yeah, browser there are projects, some limitations, we do have yeah. to support Internet yeah. Explorer. Yeah. So yeah. I would agree. Uh, you know, Famous is still very, very early on in its yeah. stages. Uh, like technically... At this current point, they don't even support desktop because they've been so focused That's on right. the mobile yeah. first yeah. perspective. Yeah. Um, but they've also proven that you know you can build up from that yeah. mobile first perspective sure. just by you know looking at their website. Even right. uh, it's right. written in in their own Famous. framework, yeah. sure. and it's a full desktop responsive website. So sure. yeah. I think there's a lot of a lot of good things coming out of there, and we should definitely keep an eye on it. All right. Well, thank you for joining us. Uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank you.